I'm Mary Behrens from Casper, Wyoming. Currently, I'm uh, friends with the University of Wyoming School of Nursing, and I also serve on the advisory board for the Health Science Center. My first connection with the university was way back in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, when the university had a grant uh, for what they called the 2 plus 2 program, where students had their associate degree or had graduated from a uh, hospital program could earn their baccalaureate degree. As nurses, I, I think we always believe in lifelong learning, so um, in the middle 90s, I went back to school in the postmaster's family nurse practitioner program. And I have to credit um, Dr. Um, Faye Whitney. She, she was really supportive of me going back to school. It's something I always wanted to do. My other passion is probably public policy. And I think nursing is a wonderful career because you're taught the nursing process, which is a simple, wonderful um, problem-solving approach to, to issues. And so when I was living in Casper, um, we have a beautiful river called the North Platte, and it's a premium trout stream today. But back in the uh, early 80s, it was growing very rapidly, and there was a subdivision built right on the river that they hadn't put, it was outside the city limits, but they hadn't put uh, adequate uh, sewage treatment facilities. So, uh, especially in the morning and at night, everyone flushing their toilets and the dishwashers going, raw sewage was being dumped uh, into the river. And I had a good friend who lived on the river on the opposite side and she called me up and she said, Mary, it's just, it's really disgusting what's, what's coming up. I'm very concerned about um, all this raw sewage coming up. You, you can see it. She said, come on out. And so I went out and it was, it was all very visible. So uh, I decided to call a press conference and I announced I was a nurse and I said I was very concerned about this as a public health issue. And um, before that, everyone had called the health department and they said, well, call the DEQ. DEQ said call the health department. So things got rolling and I ended up going to some city council meetings and through that process I decided hmm I think this is something I could do a good job at so I ran for city council and won and then later became mayor so uh, that was a wonderful opportunity for me as a nurse I feel so many times that uh, in the city whether you're talking about safe drinking water or safe parks that as a nurse, you can bring something to the table. So from there, I went to the state legislature. And uh, again, I felt like people would look to me as a nurse. I think nurses are trusted. But what do you think, Mary, about this health care issue? Probably one of the most interesting, um, I want to say exciting times for me. Um, I actually served or was elected to the American Nurses Association uh, Board of Directors and served there eight years. And I actually was first vice president. And there's the World Health Assembly that meets uh, every year. And usually uh, representative from the AMA, American Medical Association goes, and then usually some other specialty physician. And um, we had kind of been struggling as the American Nurses Association of how do we get to go happened to be the, the Bush administration, uh, w, George W. Bush, and of course by, uh, Vice President Cheney was from Wyoming. So I, I basically, I, I wrote uh, Vice President Cheney a letter telling him that I was a nurse and I thought it was really important that there be a nurse represented at the World Health Assembly. I wanted to be a part of the official delegation. It's not like you can't go there, but if you're a part of the official delegation, you can actually give testimony, and also you can be part of the, the voting group. So um, the long and the short of it is, one day I got a, phone, a blind phone call at my house, and I usually don't answer. I usually have you know call answering that I see, and it was blank, but the phone rang, and something just told me to pick up the phone, and I did, and it said, hello, this is the White House. Well, I almost fell off my chair. 
But the, the long and the short of it is, it was that the vice president had recommended that I be part of the official delegation. I hope that I can be or have been a good role model for other nurses uh, in terms of someone that can, nurses can come to me and ask that I would tell them there's so many opportunities in nursing today. You know, you can work in the hospital. Many people think that's all that nurses do, but nurses work all over the place and in the community and in schools. And, and also, you can be involved in a, a political or policy area, which I think is, is a key. So I hope that I can leave the legacy of mentorship. I guess, and it's so hard to, to say, but I do think that, that my basic nursing education sort of gave me certain skills and, and also just confidence that, hey, you know, there's something out there, you can, you can do it. <laughs>